Well, God bless you and keep you in Jesus' name. I got a word for you in the book of Psalms. Uh, Let's read real quick the book of Psalms 44, chapter 44. Let's see what it does, said the Lord in there. Hallelujah. It is good to break bread and to get into the word of the Lord. We have heard our ears, O God. Our fathers have told us what deeds you did in their days, in the days of old, how you drove out the nations with your hand. For them you planted, how you afflicted the peoples and cast them out. For they did not gain possessions of the land by their own sword, nor did their own arm save them. But it was your right hand, <laughs> your arm in the light of your countenance, because you favored them. You are my king, O God. Commanded victories for Jacob. Through you we will push down our enemies. Through your name we will trample those who rise up against us. For I will not trust in my bow. Hallelujah. Uh, he says, and nor shall my sword save me. But you have saved us from our enemies. And have put to shame those who hated us. And God we boast all day long. I praise your name forever. Selah. See that means, think it out. Think about that for a minute. He says, "In God we boast all day long, and praise Your name forever." In God we boast all day long, and not only that, here's also what we do, and we praise Your name forever. Not for two weeks, not in in in, in, in um until the divorce the divorce is final, um not until we get into church, and, but we praise Your name forever. But you have cast us off and put us to shame, and you do not go out with our armies. You make us turn back from the enemy, and those who hate us have taken spoil for themselves. You have given us up like sheep intended for food, and have scattered us among the nations. You sell your people for naught, and not enriched by their price. You make us reproach to our neighbors, and scorn and derision to those old around us. You make us beyond be a byword among the nations and shake him the head among the peoples. My dishonor is continually before me, and the shame of my face has covered me because of the voice of him who reproaches and reviles because of the enemy and the avenger. All this has come upon us, but we have not forgotten you. It don't matter what you're going through in life. Do not forget God. Do not forget his name. He will bring you out speedily. How do show call Abaha? Some old folks used to say this. He may not come when you want him to, but he always will be on time. This has come upon us, but we have not forgotten you, nor have we dealt falsely with your covenant. Our heart is not turned back, nor have our steps departed from your way. But you have severely broken us into the place of jackals and covered us with the shadow of death. If we have forgotten the name of our God or stretched out our hands to a foreign God, would not God search this out? For he knows the secrets of the heart. Did you know that God knows the secrets of the heart? That's why I tell people a lot of times, listen, you can't hide anything from God, so you just might as well praise him. How did the boot shot? You can't, you can't get yourself right. The only way to get yourself right is to come to the light, which is the Lord Jesus Christ. See, because he already knows our heart. My God, I feel like preaching. If we have forgotten the name of our God, or stretched out our hands to a foreign God, would not God search this out? Ah, oh, yeah. For he knows the secrets of the heart. Yet for your sake we are killed all day long. We are counted as sheep for the slaughter. Awake, why do you sleep, O Lord? Arise, do not cast us off forever. Why do you hid your face from us and forget our affliction and our oppression? For our soul is bowed down to the dust. Our bodies cling to the ground. Arise for our help. And redeem us for your mercy's sake. Glory to God in here. He is worthy to be praised. God bless you and keep you. Listen, if it's a word, then I must have did it. And if it's not, then I wasn't with it. Stay committed. Can I show you something else though before we go? You thought I was over, didn't you? It ain't over. <laughs> your party ain't over Let me show you something in Psalms 54 It says save me O God By your name and vindicate me By your strength hear my prayer O God Give ear to the words of my mouth 
For strangers, strangers have risen up against me, and oppressors have sought after my life. They have not set God before them. Behold, God is my helper. The Lord is with those who uphold my life. He will repay my enemies for their evil. Cut them off in your truth. I will freely sacrifice to you. I will praise your name, O Lord, for it is good. For he has delivered me out of trouble. And my eyes have seen his desire upon my enemies. Yeba Soraba. The Lord shall avenge you. You ain't gotta chase down rumors. You ain't gotta avenge yourself. You ain't gotta get back at an ex-husband or ex-wife. Oh, I'm gonna get them, I'm tell you what, and blah blah blah. And I'm gonna live my best life in front of their face and all that mess and all that foolishness. And listen, right here in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Trust me, if you a woman or a man of God and you, you living in revenge and you living in uh, uh, unforgiveness, it, then you ain't living your best life. <laughs> God bless you and keep you in Jesus' name. If it's a word, then I must have did it. And if it's not, then I wasn't with it. Stay committed, but it ain't over. Let me show you one more thing. Psalms 55, around verse 16, it says, As for me, I will call upon God. Your Lord saves me. Evening and morning and at noon I will pray and cry aloud, and he shall hear my voice. He has redeemed my soul in peace from the battle which was against me. For there were many against me, and God will hear and afflict them. Even he who abides from old, because they do not change. Therefore they do not fear God. He has put forth his hands against those who were at peace with him. He has broken his covenant. The words of his mouth were smoother than butter. But war is in his heart. His words were softer than oil. Yet they were drawn swords. Cast your burden on the Lord, and he shall sustain you. He shall never permit the righteous to be moved. That's you. But you, O oh God, shall bring them down to the pit of destruction. Bloodthirsty and deceitful men shall live out half their days. But I will trust in you. Look at somebody real quick and tell them I will trust in you. The Lord, hallelujah. Go me to Psalms 34 before you go. I know y'all ready to go home. But can somebody say glory? I know you're ready to get out of here. Uh, can you say holy, 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 God, worthy? It says, Psalms 34 says this. And I'm going to read at verse 4. I sought the Lord and he heard me and delivered me from all my fears. Now watch verse 8. Oh, taste and see. That the Lord is good. Blessed is the man that trusts in him. Verse uh, 18. The Lord is near to those who have a broken heart. And have such a have a contrite spirit. And many are the afflictions of the righteous. But the Lord delivers him out of them all. Verse 22. The Lord redeems the soul of his servants. And none of those who trust in him shall be condemned. Did you know that none, no, nobody that trusts in the Lord shall be condemned. Those who believe on the name of the Lord Jesus Christ and are called on the name of the Lord Jesus Christ will never be condemned. Jesus said this. He said this in the New Testament. Jesus said this. He said, He that believeth on the Son is not condemned. But he that believeth not is condemned already. If you believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, then you are not condemned, but you shall have everlasting life. Listen, God bless you and keep you. Listen, if it's a word, then I must have did it. And if it's not, then I wasn't with it. Mistake admitted.